Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. What's up, you fucking pussies? Let's go, baby. We we going to the comedy club, Kansas City. I'm gonna drink a peach soda, and I'm hoping that'll help me think of funny jokes. All right, we gotta write these fucking jokes. I'm running out of time. Muse, give me the funniest jokes of all time so that I can tell them tonight and finally make my mother proud and finally take control of my family and destroy my father. Please. All right, sweet, I pray to the muse. Now we're just gonna light the candle and get to work. Boom, bitch. We wrote some jokes. All right, so I found out Outlaw Cigar Shop open mic is also happening tonight. So I think I'm going to hit that one first, tell all these new jokes, and then go to the comedy club and tell whatever I want. So yeah, anyways, number one. Anybody ever noticed that the Loch Ness Monster kind of looks like a dick? What is this, the Loch Ness Monster or the Cock Ness Monster? Number two. Shampoo sounds like fake poop. Sham poo. Give me some of that real poo to put in my hair. All right, number three. I don't wear cologne. I just go to the thrift store and I buy the clothes and don't wash them, and I get that thrift store smell. Hipster girls go crazy for it. All right, number four. For thousands of years, human beings pooped outside, in rivers, by trees. Now we're forced to poop in little rooms, sometimes without windows. You, can, you call it bathrooms, I call it slavery. Born to poop, forced inside. Toilet, more like toy let me poop outside. Number five, I shave my head to have the same haircut as LeBron James. Nobody said I look like him yet, even though we're literally twinning. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna lie, I actually fucking hate these jokes that I just wrote, but we're gonna do it, we're just gonna do it. All right, I'll see you guys there. All right, bitch, let's go to this fucking open mic. I just had a big bowl of fucking chili. Let's go. We gotta hit the road. Oh, guys, we got stuck behind a train. Always a potential risk when you're going to Outlaw Cigar. Yo, longest train ever, dude. It's been over 15 minutes. I'm worried I might miss the mic. Let's go, baby. I see the end of the train. The caboose. Raise the gates. Fuck, I'm about to go around these shits. Fuck it, man, if I die in a truck. Hey, let's go. Made it, bitch. I told the guy running the mic that I'm running late, so I'm pretty sure it won't be over. I'm like 30 minutes late, though. Please put those hands together for the very funny, the one and only, the great and powerful, it's Michael Blake! Boom, baby, we did it. It was a pretty weak crowd, like one of the weakest crowds ever. I performed for only five comedians. It's the only people in the room. But my joke sucked anyway, so I don't care that much. I start off with the Loch Ness Monster joke. Uh, you guys ever see that picture of the Loch Ness Monster? It kind of looks like a dick. What is this, the Loch Ness Monster? That's what I call my dick. Because if there's ever, ever a picture of my dick out there, I'm going to claim it's fake. That's fake. Fabricated. And then I told the shampoo joke. Shampoo. That sounds like fake poop. Sham poo. Give me some of that real poo to put in my hair. I don't want none of this. Sh <laughs> and then the cologne joke. I don't wear cologne. I just go to the thrift store and I buy a bunch of the clothes and don't wash them and I get that thrift store smell. The hipster bitches go crazy for it. And then the thousands of years of pooping joke. Dude, for thousands of years. The fuck was that? Was that? For thousands of years. Human beings have been pooping outside in rivers and by trees, and now we're forced to poop in tiny little rooms, sometimes without even windows. Born to poop, forced inside. I think that we should have a revolution. Toy, let me poop outside. Hold on, there is something funny, but I forgot what it was. And then the LeBron James joke. Yeah, I got the same haircut as LeBron James. Wanted to look like him, but no one said anything yet. It's like, come on, we're literally twinning. None of them went very good. I think the, uh, the Cockness monster out of all of them might have done the best. 
But then afterwards, there were a bunch of little pieces of paper with words on them that you could pick up and riff off of. So I drew a few of those and I'll show you the riffs that I did. This one says pizza toppings. I like pepperoni. It's weird because I like pepperoni pizza, but I don't love pepperoni nipples. I'm just mid about them. This one says music. I wish I could do music. I wouldn't be up here right now. Oh, and I pretended that the guy's wife that wrote the papers wanted to have a divorce with him. Shout out Keith's wife. This one says move. I think she's trying to tell Keith to move. She wants a divorce. This one says, I'm filing for divorce, Keith. <laughs> it's over. That was the outlaw mic. I made it just in time. Not even a train could stop me. Now I'm going to go to the comedy club and do my set. It's going to be sick. But I'm showing up late. I better hit the road. We made it to the comedy club, BH. Hopefully I got a good spot on the list. There's a bunch of people outside. What's up? What's up dude? Yo, it's packed in that room, dude. It is. I'm going up number 12. It's crazy. Hey, hey, please, let me roll the next comic. He's also terrible. It's Michael Blake! Ah! Boom, we did it, bitch. This was probably the biggest open mic night crowd we've ever had on the channel, honestly. It was a pretty fucking packed room for a Tuesday night open mic. Sick as fuck, dude. Before I went on stage, though, I ran into my ex in the showroom when I was going to look at the list, and she started giving me shit. My ex-girlfriend, she was like, aren't you banned from this club? And I, it caught me off guard, because she hasn't talked to me in forever. She doesn't talk to me, and she was like, aren't you banned from this club? And I was like, I don't know. And she's like, did you even apologize? I'm like, I don't know. And she's like, you need to take accountability. That's what my ex-girlfriend said to me tonight before I went on stage. So that was fucking with me. Like, I thought I was over that bitch, but like her talking to me, it made me like shake. I don't know why, dude. I don't know why, but I don't think I'll ever be over that bitch. But yeah, anyways, so yeah, I saw my ex-girlfriend. I watched her set. Her set made me really sad when I heard her tell jokes about certain things. But I went on at like nine comics after her, and my set went pretty good. It went decent, I'd say. It wasn't amazing. But I did the homeowner joke. The other day, this guy asked me if I was a homeowner, but I misheard him. I'm like, did you just ask me if I was a homo nerd? <laughs> He's like, no, do you own a house? Are you a homeowner? I was like, oh, no, my dad's a homo nerd in our family. I'm more of the hetero jock, a renter, if you will. And then I did big balls. This girl told me I had big balls the other day. Not in the metaphorical way. That's story of my life. Average dick, huge balls. It's like when you order a drink from the bar and you get a, like a big cup and a tiny little bar straw. Some guys bring the sandwich. I bring the whole sack lunch. Well, boom. Um, these ladies up front are loving it. And then I did microphone. Dude, I got the microphone. Shouldn't a microphone be like a micro phone, like a tiny phone? And then I started talking about micro penis and all women having a micro penis. And some lady shouted out, it's not a button. And I was like, all right, I don't, okay, the clitoris isn't a button. I don't like the word micro penis. It's like, come on, doctor, it's called a small penis. Do you really have to diagnose me? I'm kidding, I have a huge penis, guys. I, <laughs> I wouldn't be so comfortable joking about it if I actually had a small dick, right? All women have a micro penis. That's what the clitoris is. That's why they're like, they ask me to eat them out. I'm like, oh. It's not a button. It's not a button. You, all right, good information. <laughs> the clitoris is not a button. It is, in fact, a micro penis, as I was saying, which is why I only lick the bottom part of the vagina. And then I finished with my mentally challenged joke. And when I was like, Jenny, everybody cracked up. I was hitting on this girl and I could tell she thought I was mentally challenged by the way she was responding to me. So I decided to lean into it. I was like, Jenny, Jenny, show me your pussy. 
And then when I was leaving the stage, some like middle-aged woman pulled me over. She was like, that Jenny line was really good. I was like, noted. The Jenny line was very good. So yeah, the Jenny line murdered. And it's perfect because you want to end on a laugh. So I, I, I love going out on a laugh. Yeah, good time. I'm super grateful for the audience. Like, I can't believe how many people are in there. Oh yeah, I also told a random joke about President's Day that I never wrote down or anything, but I thought of it. Dude, President's Day was yesterday. Fuck the presidents, right? Yeah. I got an Abraham Lincoln for a little pinata to celebrate. Shot it with a gun. <laughs> Call myself John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> what boom? And so I told that up front and it did all right. That was the open mic night tonight. It was a lot of fun. Tomorrow night, we are going to the Rhino open mic in North Kansas City. We're going to do four minutes. It's going to be crazy. I'll see you fuckers there. Thanks for watching. Peace.